Did you know you start to lose muscle as early as 40 years old? At that point, it becomes this very slow decline until by the time we're 80, we've lost half of our muscle mass. But it doesn't have to be this way. I believe that exercise is the fountain of youth, and in particular, strength training is the secret to living longer and stronger. So today we're gonna focus on upper body strength, and we're gonna get down on the floor today. There'll be another video if you don't wanna get down on the floor. What you need is hand weights and a mat. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my channel below, and afterwards, leave me some comments. Let's get started. Before we start working out our strength, we've got to wake up the body first, get it nice and warm. So let's start by swinging these arms. Alternate which arms on top. Move into some arm circles. Start little, make them bigger. Now let's go the opposite direction. Burning out these shoulders later. We've got to get them warm. All right, meet me at goal post. I'm gonna press up slightly in front. And go back to goal post. Just up and down. Getting some heat there. All right, let's touch the elbows, then overhead. Elbows, then overhead. A couple more of these. One more time. All right, top half of the body is getting warm. How about the lower half? Toes forwards, we're gonna start with a basic squat. Sit the hips back, weight in the heels, squeeze your bottom to stand back up. Remember those knees don't travel past your toes. All right, let's add on. Try to bring those feet a little closer together if you're comfortable. When you squat, arms go down, then sweep up tall. Okay, we gotta wake up our ankles. Anybody wanna go to toes with me? Building heat now. It's okay if you lose your balance. One more time. All right, now slow down your squat. We do a little squat, sit back. Reach tall, drop an arm to the hip. Good, and then squat down. Other arm. Good job, back and forth. Waking up the sides of the body. Get the thighs warm. Of course, the glutes. All right, let's wake up these hips. We're gonna start right knee first. If you wanna use a wall, you can, or you can freestyle it. Start with little knee circles. If you lead with the knee, you'll get it right. Don't try to do it with your foot. Very good, can you make that bigger? I'm gonna add some arms with it. This is complex as it's gonna get right there. All right, so this next one is a leg swing. We're gonna kick across. So soften this bottom leg, left leg. Start little, kick across. Foot towards your hand, just don't bend over to get there. You can call this a soccer kick if you like. Very good, one more time. All right, knee circles the other side. If you need that wall for your knee circles, use it. Sink into your right leg, left knee. good. Make that circle bigger if you can. Add some arms to it. Just an option. All right, kick across. We're sinking into the right leg. Small kick, a little bigger kick. We're waking up the hamstring a little bit more. Very good. One more time. All right, toes forwards, wide stance. Sink into your left knee first, but don't let the knee go past the toes. You're gonna sit your hips back. And then you come out, then you go to the other side. Sit the hips back. The weight should be in your heels, not your toes. Back and forth here. Feel that inner thigh stretch. Also works the outer glute as you push. One more time each side. 
Good. All right, plie to finish. Knees out, toes out. Bottoms in. Take it on down. And now we're waking up our inner thighs. And then you can add some arms to it. And pull back. So it's a chest opener. Shoulders, inner thighs, and glutes. One more. You should be warm. Wiggle on in. Good job. Time to start our upper body strength workout. Here's what you need. At first, you're just using your body weight. It's all you need. The second half, you're gonna need some medium heavy to heavy hand weights for chest pressing, lying on your back. All right, you ready? If you're a beginner, you're gonna start here, walk your knees back further, or try to begin off knees. Ready? Down two. Up two. Down two, look right in front of you, not straight down. Down two. One more time. Now we're gonna go to one and three, down fast, up slow. Do it again. Good, two more. One more time. Knees are okay if you need them. Let's go down slow, four, three, Two, lift slow. Sit back and stretch. We're almost done with these push-ups. All right, come back up. We're going back to two by two. Here we go. Knees are okay. Try to keep it going. Down two. Two more. One more time. Now finish with one and three. Down, lift slow. Whoo, we got three more and you're finished with push ups. Down, lift slow. One more time. Good job. All right, find your hand weights. We're moving to chest press. So we're going to lay down. Arms are wider than shoulders. Down two. Hover the elbows, but try not to touch the floor. And squeeze your chest at the top. It's not about the arms. You feel the arms, but it's about the chest. Down and hold. Are your shoulders back and down? For three, two, press it up and squeeze. Go again, down, hold. Very good. Bring it back up. Now triple pump down. Three, two, one and press. Do it again. Three, two, one and press. Down and pump for six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it on up. Singles. Down and up. Good. We're getting close now. Four, three, two, finish with bottom halves all the way down, halfway up. Back down all the way up, squeeze. Two more, you're done. Are your shoulders back and down? Squeeze to the top. You're finished. Hand weights down, bring it back up. Good job. Moving on in our upper body workout. So we just did a bunch of push-ups. We did chest presses. So we worked the chest, we worked the back, we worked the shoulders, triceps, biceps, and core. That was a lot. Now we're focusing solely on the biceps. Different angles there. So we're gonna start off with side angle curls. Shoulders back and down. Knees soft, abs tight. Let's go up for two. Now, when we do these, notice my elbows hugging the sides of my body. You don't wanna do this, that's all shoulders. Up two. All right, halfway hold. Shoulders back and down. Your core is tight. Keep holding. Getting them woken up now. 
as if the push-ups didn't do it. <laughs> All right, triple pump. Three, two, one, release. Do it again. Light grip on those hand weights. Halfway pump. Six, five, four, three, two, one, release. We're going to singles. Up and down. Try not to throw the weight. If your core is tight, your arms are doing the work, not your low back. You can always alternate arms if you need a break. Good, now we go half, half, one more. Now take it to the top. Halfway down. Again, one more. Two counts all the way down. Halfway up. Good, hold here. Beautiful, roll it on out. All right, now we're going hammer curls. Lift and lower. Elbows still hug the sides of the body. Now my palms are facing each other. All right, now halfway hold, then rotate the wrists. Don't let them be saggy, keep your wrists strong. Two more. One more time. Triple pump, hammer, three, two, one, release. Do it again. Perfect. Two more. One more time. All right, now hold your hammer. Hold, open the grip to the side. Back to hammer. You hear it, it's building, release. Roll it on out, alternate, hammer first, then side, then hammer. Keep it up. It's our last move. We got eight more. Do you feel them yet? If it's too fast for you, slow it down. Last two. Halfway hold, you're done. Beautiful job. Now we're moving on to triceps. Biceps are a larger muscle group, it's the front. Triceps are the smaller one in the back, so you need lighter hand waves. So we're gonna burn it out with some kickbacks first and some presses. But at the very end, we're gonna go overhead with one weight. Now, if this is not doable for tight shoulders, okay? Then you will hold your arm in front and you will tricep press this way. And you'll have to do both arms to keep, keep up. All right, so let's find our hand weights. We're gonna begin with some kickbacks. So I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see my form. Most important, do not round. Stick your bottom out, flatten your back. All right, so you're gonna kick up those elbows, shoulders back and down. Abs stay tight. We're starting in three, two, one. Let's go. Extend, touch. Notice I'm not bringing the weights all the way to my chest. I'm stopping near the hips. Makes me work harder. Also notice my elbows aren't rowing around. They're staying still. Just trying to straighten and bend. Okay, they're starting to wake up now. All right, bring it upright, shoulders back and down. Abs tight, lift and lower. Lift and lower. If you want tougher, hinge a little bit with a flat back, then you'll feel it. Bring it on up, hinge it over, kickbacks. We're going again. This time four, three, two, one. Bring it on up, stretch, hinge it over. Second set, seven, six, four, three. Ooh, they're starting to talk now. Bring it on up, roll it out. Okay, roll it out again. Put those weights behind you, palms behind you, and lift, pulse. Very small movement. No hunching your shoulders. Don't make them do the work. 
Keep going. Feeling that yet? Keep your abs tight. We're almost there. Take a break if you need to. All right, we go back to kickbacks. Here we go. Kick, tap, kick, tap. Four more. Last two. All right, one hand weight goes away. Turn this one sideways. Bring it up overhead. Now turn to the side. Bend the elbows. You don't have to go all the way to the back of your neck, but notice my elbows are facing straight ahead. They're not kicking out like this. Keep going. All right, vary it up. All the way down, halfway up. Back down, all the way up. Down halfway up. Back down all the way up. Keep it going. Good, those triceps should be getting tired now. Shoulders back and down. Almost there. Halfway hold. Release, halfway hold. Bring it all the way up. Halfway hold. Take it down. Halfway up and hold. Bring it up and hold. You did it. Good job. Roll it on out. Moving into shoulders now, make sure you have a medium to light set of hand weights. We want shoulders to be fatigued. We do not want sharp shooting pain. So if you need a drop set, you can have a lighter set right nearby to grab, or you can mimic without hand weights. By then you'll feel it. All right, we have soft knees. We roll our shoulders back and down, tighten up your core. We begin with a 90 degree bend. Looks just like this. Ready? All right, we're going up for two, elbows out. Elbows down. Wrists are strong. Two more. Good, one more time. Now we're gonna lift fast, down slow. Lift, down slow. Again. We got two more. One more time. I'm moving to singles. Here we go. Lift, lower. Control it, even though it's moving faster. Are your abs tight? We got two more. All right, I'm gonna change it up a little bit. You ready? Lift, hold, goal post. Back down, release. Elbows, goal post. Two more. We get a break after this. Stick with me. And release. Roll it on out. All right, we're going to overhead singles. We start at 90. Out in front just a little bit. Soft arms. You can always alternate side to side if you like. All right, I'm playing add-on. I lift, goal post, re rotate. Overhead, goal post, rotate. Good, keep going. Ooh, feel no shoulders yet? There you go. One more. Perfect, bring it on down and roll it on out. All right, we're going to upright rows now. So your palms face your body. Abs are tight, and we're gonna lift from the elbows. Here we go, two by two. Notice I'm not bending my wrists. This is bad for your wrists. Keep them strong. Lift. All right, we're about to go to clean and press. You gotta keep your abs tight, ready? Flip it, press. And down and flip again. Try to make a straight line in front of the body. Flip, soft elbows at the top. Don't lock them out. Now stay here at goal post, overhead to finish. Press. Do you need to alternate arms to modify? You could. Otherwise, keep going with both of them. We're almost there. Two more. 
we did it. Arms down, roll it out. Good, I hope you felt that. Good job.